Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. And here we are, it is just gone 11 o'clock and as you see on that top right corner, all the money we made from Sarge in last episode is gone. That's because we've gone and borrowed the lorry here from the dealership. And we're taking delivery of some brand new and also not so brand new equipment. So let's go and have a look here, shall we? ourselves free. So yeah, we bought ourselves some stuff, bought the build loader we mentioned in the last episode, that was second hand. And also we got gone and bought a teleanser and a bader. The only thing we really need now is the wrapper. And that's going to cost us about 55 grand or so. Let's be careful of these trees as yeah, we had some issues already with it. But anywho, we reverse the plot to the farm. Of course we haven't paid for any renting fees, we'll be paying that later on today, so it's a dealership. Tell them to borrow the lorry and that, and also want to borrow some of our trainers and their John Deere. Just because we got a lot of shrew to sell. There we go, let's park it up. Get everything unloaded. Get one strapped. So, yeah, let's go and actually have a look, shall we? So, yeah. Obviously, we got the Volvo L120H. That was 55% off, and we also bought a bucket for that. I think that was like 6,000 litres. Next, we've got the Lieber TL4367. And then, there was a bit of a choice with the Bader, so I was tempted to go with the Massey, but yeah, actually, I do like the Chrome one. The Chrome Big Mac, Big Pack, not the Big Mac. 1290 HTTP VC SBC. And yeah, this is just also really good. And where is that little John here, too? Bells. So I'll we'll see that there to train all that. So yeah, I do think we're gonna need that at the moment. I think it's like when we sell straw nets. There's some things I want to get. Obviously the belt wrapper. Also a mix wagon so we could fund the TMR production. Fund TMR production, that makes no sense, but yeah, just make TMR for our cattle with the amount of silage and all that we got. And you have the we've got a manure fork, so we can remove the manure from the cow barn. Go, smooth the crow. Yeah, and actually also, I've got to return that. That was a bit of a waste. So what, I think we're just going to buy the cows in directly. There we go. Just going to park that up here for now. Obviously no way this could power it out and get it actually running and bathing. But yeah, so next. Grab the lever. And yeah, it's just something different, you know. Instantly, it will get us to work. So let's go over to the cows and we'll clear the muck from their pens. Yeah, I think we'll just buy the cows in directly. And we're already stuck. Ah, it's got a little fork thing here, but. Not even one minute has gone out before he got stuck. There we go. Free. Free yourself. Come on. There we go, that's all that cleared up. So yeah, let's go and buy the cow in. So 
we got 24 cows at the moment and I'm thinking we'll go with 20 21 oh yeah I got no money um you know what let's get out a, a quick loan in temporarily obviously we're going to be making this money back before we sell the straw so yeah 21 There we go. And obviously yeah, that's going to mean... Actually now we get some milk production, more manures can be produced. And lots of other things. But also the fuel production, or fuel consumption, is going to go up through the roof, so... Excuse cows. Maybe. Thank you. I'm here to clean your poop. manure sorted so yeah a little pile of manure here so yeah that'd be like a little storage area for the manure for the time being I think yeah we may just sell that next year or something because we're going to have much manure being produced so I thought okay actually what's on here can we just give the cows some straw or is it they need it like short bells, or do they need to be, you know, properly consumed? You know, for a short blower. Because if so, that's going to be another thing we need to fund. Because, yeah, from shore alone, what do we sell it? Man, we're talking about in the ballpark of. 450 grand. So I know the straw goes in here, right?
one of the cow parts. Guessing we're going to need a shore blower. And yeah, technically, uh, no side out, technically accepts bells and shreds them. But there's no way of that side out we got with shred bells IRL, so. Well, at least that we know of. Anywho, I think for now, let's go and shove these bells here. There we go. Ooh. So yeah, now to figure out the cost of everything, we need a straw blower, we need a TMR mixer. So for the mixers, which actually could be used as a straw blower, just put straw in, it will chop it up. Because yeah, obviously you could use something like these, like the Pro Chop. Actually, it'd be something like that. First, it's grand, not too bad. Let's say they'll fit two bells in. But yeah, fee mixers we're looking at 30,000 litres. There, 22, 18. Ooh, the Mecha Fiber 365. 28. Thousand liters. Twenty-four, twenty-two. What about uh, these ones here? Do they do them bigger? No, not really. Twenty-six thousand, thirteen thousand liters. That's our TMR mixer, as we know. So, or at least as I know from a certain let's play on by spring so yeah I'm thinking it's got to be one of these big ones here so we're looking at how much 60 grand and that's for 76 grand yowza what about we have a little look here productions Is it two? It's got one here for the cows, but I think that's require extra stuff in that. Oh, which one was it? Put this down. Oh no, that's massive that is. But yeah, even something like that, you know, a little mixer. 50 grand though. Go with a grand and source huge volumes of it. So, thinking where could we put it potentially? I'm not too fast on location like in proximity to the cows. I said, if there's a little bit of trekking, I don't mind. I don't want to do it here because this is like the picnic area for the visitors of the farm. Hmm, okay. Unless we say, you know, put it like here or something. Just got to be mindful of the doors for the pig pens, but yeah, something like that. Just reverse trigger in. It's gonna be, yeah, a bit tight, but you know what? That I can live with. So ideally, it'd be something like that against a wall. You know, something like that. But then again, we're clashing with the additive tank. A few other things. What about... Look over here. Ah, what about over here? It's going to be a bit of terrain work, but... Yeah, definitely. You know, something like that. Be a nice little sight to see. Yeah, my problem is just landscaping, so... Unless we, I don't know, just remove part of this field. K, 
can we get rid of that shed? I wonder, or is it a sort shed that, for legal reasons, can't be removed? Yeah, I think that's a sort shed, so that can be moved. But yeah, I've got a few options for that, but we don't need to worry about that for a while. And actually, if we have a look at our animals currently. So, having a look. Yes, yeah, I've got plenty of straw in that for now. I'm going to let them run for that size first. So, yeah, milk production will be a bit low. But, yes, yeah, so we've got some Anguses and Holsteins growing. Little calves are almost six months old. Be six months this month, actually, sometime in December, so. But, yeah, so now we need to figure out a. Yeah, we need to sell the straw now. So, yeah. Let me go and grab the John Deere set that we bought from the dealership. There we go. So, the total cost of all the lease and all this, so we're borrowing this for the day. Along with the trader, like the lorry and that. So, that is going to cost us five grand for the day. So, not too bad. And we'll pay that off afterwards once we go on and get everything sold. So between these two we can transport 400,000 litres at a time. And that's still going to require the best part of five, eight trips. So there be a lot of back and forth going on here. But it comes with the territory doing harvesting contracts all year round and collecting all the straw. Pharmacy all the straw to make bells or whatever, so we got permission to collect it. At no extra cost to the farm now, it's just our labour, our fuel, our wear and tear, our own equipment. Or equipment we bought from the ship up. Well you don't know it wouldn't hurt them. Actually, also, we do need to service this, so if we, say, go into the dealership's account, so on top of the five grand, uh, ain't going to work like that, but yeah, we'll get us repairs, because we didn't pay the cost last time to get this all serviced and that, so... Yeah, that's on us, that is. That's on us. No two ways about that. But yeah, 3 million litres of straw. That's going to take some time to fill up. And we established in the last episode, straw is at its peak price now at December and January. So, yeah, 138 we're looking at. We could do 143 at the farmer's market bells. Or do we settle for what's that? It could be a 2% less money if we just set to the value view bells, which is just around the corner from here. Ooh. Price is still going up for straw, so. Let's maybe wait on that, see what happens there. It's going to be going to the night, I'm sure. Ooh, the Flint Vario. 396 horsepower. Yep, it's the base function. And for uphead engine. Oh, I am so tempted. I am actually. Oh, actually, that looks to be a perfect combination. Oh, great demand at Vivi Bells. Is that straw? No, it ain't. And. Oh, I was hoping it's going to be Vivi Bells for the straw and that, but nope. To last, it's not to be, so. 
anyways. Ah, oh, dang it, we're at night now, so I don't want to record at night, but I want to get those two. Actually, you know what? Heck, let's take a cheeky loan out now. So how much is going to be that for these two? Want the upid engine? No idea what that does. So standard wheels. I think just standard with weights would do. So I'm just looking at prices, chrome. Chrome exhaust at least. Backlights red or default. Go with red. Ooh, that looks nice. So 220 to 280. So let's go and get that. Go to finances. If I can find it. We'll take out the loan. We'll pay it off straight away afterwards. But I'm just going to skip to the morning. There we go. So yeah, the green cart. We'll keep it green. Yeah, we want the tracks. And we'll get everything for this, so that BKTs, wheel weights, beacons, warnings, all of it. Or do you go with the chrome grades? Nah, just chrome exhaust. And there we go. No, I'm not going to bother with any of that. What is it time to do the cab? Whatever it is, we don't need it at the moment. So, yeah, let's skip to the morning. Get us all sold. And I'll see you folks afterwards.
go, we are done. So that was a bit of time taking. And how much straw did we sell in the end? So let's go and have a look. If we go down here, £447,000 we made. So just shy off 450 grand. The thing is, if we wait here, because we sold on average about 142, 143, occasionally 146. Because I didn't know what the market was going to be like with prices, it went up a bit more. Not much, but significantly enough, if we waited, we would have breached that 450 grand mark. So, yeah, currently 154. So, an extra tenner for a thousand litres. So, yeah, that's an extra, what, 30 grand or so? Anywho, let's go and uh, get this back. So, all the hazards and beacons on. And we repaired the John Deere Nats and the trader. That cost us about 10 grand. I made an initial payment of two and a half grand. So yeah, we need to make a another two and a half grand payment. Actually a three and a half grand because I'll do requiring this this morning, so yeah, let's do that now, shall we? Let's go up here. Go to here, dealership, three and a half grand, and there we go, that's sorted, that's all the loan paid off as well, and we're left with just a hundred and three grand left over, and usually that'll be fine, go to next year, keep on farming, but I want to go with a land expansion, as we mentioned a few times already. And we will require a long-term loan. I'll say for about 12 months, 12 to 24 months, a year or two, to pay off, because it's going to be in the region of like half a million or so. And I can't guarantee we're going to be doing a lot of short contracts next year. Well, I say short contracts, I mean artisan contracts. Don't fall over. Thank you very much. How rude is that? Well, yeah, so, I think it's like the cows. Now we're getting milk in, we've already got 2,000 litres of milk. And, yeah, we need a mixed wagon to get the TMR made. And how we're going to get a TMR made is an interesting thing all of itself. Well, I think just to get a mixed wagon in, and that'll be it. Yeah, we're not going to be using the trade for a while, not until like June when I'm sort of selling the fill hands, actually. We can keep them in storage in here, can't we? Nothing to say we can't. Ah, uh, yeah, so I need to start putting my equipment away. Oh, uh, anywho, get this unloaded. Turn it off. Turn all the beacons off. There we go. But yeah, this is our first proper form tractor. Actually, bear me a sec. Oh, there we go. That is the thumbnail for this episode done. And yeah. Had the game crash, so had to redo some process we've done. Need to save more often. I didn't know whether or not we bought a wrapper or not, but we've gone and bought a wrapper egg maze because we need that. So, yeah, that's the thumbnail sorted. Little cheeky little thumbnail. Yeah, let's go and get this off and finish off as we were saying earlier off getting this all loaded up. go, unstrap all that. Nope. Into the fence, please. There we go. But yeah, now we've got some big equipment on the farm. And this will help us with the contract work and that. As for many other things, it is a very good tool to have. Actually, be sure to just 
interesting. See how this navigates our maneuvers. Test was all have a right around. Yeah, actually, for that gear over there is just to see how good of a job it does. Because if it ain't good, we're gonna set very quickly. Dang it, oh, there was a nice combine on the market, but I missed it. 6R. We did mention about getting the never sort of medium on this tractor. Obviously we've got the big one now. But do we need it? Uh, if we have a look at our own stuff, we've got four tractors I think. The Massey, that's good. The 830. And that's the thing, for the 830, we're going to get much out of it. It's 42 hours. It's similar with the 930 or 920, whatever it was. I think at the end of the day, regardless, we're going to hit that limit very quickly, anyways, with all of our tractors. But things like the fence, even when it's like losing half of its horsepower, it'll still be good to do. If you ain't good at it, get through here. Yeah, it's way too big. Nah, nah, it's not too big, it's just getting too small. Say, try to do that. Our kit around, screw the tire. Good thing they went with white tires. This is go. Alright, a bit more. Do I ever stuck to? Uh, this is just on the edge of the corner post. But yeah, I think realistically. This was a bit of a mistake. We can't get through here, this area here, and we're absolutely stuck now, so uh, choices were made and choices are going to be regretted. I think we should sell this, so bear with me a sec. Well, there we go, we've got a sorted and yeah, going through that first gate eventually. Second gate, uh, not so much, so yeah, a bit of jiggery and pokeriness. It's good to have it for a good old five minutes, but yeah, an auto wagon is nice to have, it'd be helpful in the field. Maybe something a bit smaller, perhaps. What, what, what of those was it? Janko ones? But yeah, anyways, we're going to get the sold also whilst we're here. We'll go and repair the fence. And that's the one thing I've got to do, especially with this tractor, is only reserve it for heavy duty work. Things like the carton or stuff like that. I think the carton could have got a lorry instead. Yeah, it was one of those things. But anyways, here we are. I was indicating that, and you just go in bloody. Ugh, bloody hell. Bloody traffic. Yeah, it seems like even here, like, maneuvering into the dealership. Barely fits through, it's gonna hit that. No, it's gonna hit something else, but yeah, it did hit that, but. Bad decisions were made. 
Last thing we need to do is like experiment and test some of this stuff. Even if we speak to the ship, get a demo. Something like that. Anyways, we'll park this up here. I'll go and sell. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the green cart. Repair. We'll repair you and repaint you. Yeah, 42 grand is alright. Back up to 109. But yeah, let's go and look at some other options for a green card. That is a bit more appropriate for us. Save you use market. Nope, not buying you again. Sod off. Uh, no, not really. But yeah, Oracle Magans. Damn. Yeah, they're more like American based, these ones. Or European with sort of decent size access to fields, like the Bergmans and that, and the Haws. But you yeah, won't get to like the Conveyals, the Demcos, and all that. Yeah, they're more of an American one. Ooh, beat car for Shkabit. Yeah, the Jan Tankers, that's it. Uh, yeah, so a few options we've got here. Seed Runner, like all of these would be very good, like that. That small, quaint, single axle. That's a bit larger, but single axle. 27,000 litres. You can go up to 35,000 litres. Actually, what's the price difference? That. That's a swivel axle. And that would make more sense for us, I think. You know, they get into fields and that. But if anything, more is between the seed runner, the green car, even though we're using that over one already, so I may avoid using that one. But yeah, certain days, we'll perhaps do a little demo of this. Oh, good color palette option. Yeah, a possible option, but yes, yeah, keep our options open. Don't really spend all our money now. That will be in the next episode where we get a million pound down or something, or whatever it's going to be for all the fields. But that's even if we do that next month, we may just go straight to February and sell all of the letters and all that. But who knows? So, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope you have a nice day. For now, it's been fun for Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.